Well, we're not on hold anymore because it is time for the 8.30 high beam. We've been looking forward to this this morning with Holly Flickinger from Hospice Browse and Buy, store manager, stores manager. Is that right? I'm an operation manager, you're but that's fine. An operation, <laughs> but but there are multiple stores, so uh, you're still a busy woman. I am. I am. <laughs> well, we thank you for being here as always. And uh, I, I told you, I hope by uh, the next time we see you, you don't have to wear a coat and hat, but we can't guarantee anything, can we? <laughs> it's Ohio, our bipolar state. <laughs> <laughs> oh, for sure. Up and down. So uh, as you come in, we usually uh, are looking forward to seeing what kind of sales are going on. I, I think you've got a, a couple of um, things for us, both what, this week and next? Yes, I do. Right now, this week, we've got um, short sleeve, women's short sleeve shirts and blouses and such are 99 cents. And that is in both our locations, our Dover location and our Carrollton location. So there is a lot of styles to choose from, oh, yeah. a lot of good items. So 99 cents for a top. And we're hoping that short sleeves are coming back uh, in the next week or so, right? <laughs> but you can wear a jacket over it. That's true. That's true. <laughs> and our next one actually is, is geared for Mother's Day because, you know, Mother's Day yeah. is coming up on the 13th. So... Uh, May 4th through the 9th, which is our Monday through Saturday, we've got 25% off of all purses and jewelry. Both locations have a lot of nice jewelry so and some great buys and a 25% off. How could you go wrong? Oh, yeah. Yeah, very good. And mom will treasure it because it looks good and because you gave it to her. Always. We, we always have those things that we wear <laughs> because someone has given them to us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You got a, a win-win that way. So, yes. so that's good. And so, uh, and plus that, not just the sales, but uh, everything else that's in the store is obviously very reasonably priced and uh, ready to go out the door. Yes. A uh, lot of furniture. I mean, if people are looking at furniture, Dover's got a good location for furniture, um, but Carrollton's been getting a lot also. Good. So there's a lot to choose from there and some really great, great buys. Yeah. Yeah. Now, just uh, let us know again. If you have some donations, and uh, including the furniture, because that made me think of maybe heavier things, um, do you set up an appointment to make sure somebody's there before you just drop it off? Yes, we would like them to call. If they have furniture, big item, if they could call, that would be great. Um, that way we can adjust for it out on the floor yeah. so that when they bring it in. And that is loaded at the front of the Dover store and down at the little little shop in the Carrollton store. The former barber shop. The former barber shop. <laughs> <laughs> so... Uh, yeah, and uh, people will be there to help you, and that way we don't have things sitting out and maybe uh, getting weathered, which we don't want at all. No, no, and especially the way our weather has been <laughs> with the rain. I mean, that just ruins it, and, you know, that's not their intentions. They wanted to donate that, so right. please keep that in mind. Um, you know, it's during our open hours, and Dover is opened up from 10, um, 10 to 5. Oh, excuse me, 9 to 5. Okay. Carrollton's open 10 to 5. Now, Carrollton does only take donations on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from 10 to 3. But if they call, they can call, and we can make arrangements on that also. There you go. Yes, yeah, special special crew out there just for that. So yes, yes, that so, it is. Speaking of special, something else special is coming up that's in, uh, I think, hospice, hospice is uh, proud of and glad to bring back finally, right? Yes, this is our 12th annual You're Not Alone camp. It's a bereavement camp for kids from um, ages 7 through 17. Now... Um, the camp is on June 27th through the 30th, and it is a day camp, a four-day day camp. Now, if anyone's interested in this, um, they could call Kelsey uh, Gano at our bereavement, in our Truman, and it's 1-800-947-7284, or you could do it at or email at bereavement at myhospice.org. Now, you have a Facebook page, too. Um, will there be information about that on Facebook? Yes, and that'll be on the hospice page and not on the browse and buy page. Right, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. All right, so um, about how many uh, kids can be involved in that, do you know? Well, we're going for 40, but we may go up to 50. Okay, so there's some room. Uh, yes. Unfortunately, we probably have at least that many. But Yeah, uh, it's sad to say, yeah. and, and you know, those kids have lost a loved one, and so they're able to talk with other kids because those kids also have lost a loved one. And, you know, and we're able to do that, you know, thanks to our generous support of our community hospice donors and our sponsors. We're, you know, we offer this free of charge. Yeah, that's tremendous. Uh, and speaking of that, the hospice is nonprofit. So there's always somebody listening for the first time or paying attention for the first time. <laughs> Hopefully not me. But um, <laughs> these donated items and donated hours at the stores 
are all going toward the uh, hospice cause, the care, and the treatment, and so um, that that makes it uh, kind of pay forward, I guess, right? It is. It is. You know, people come in and buy. They donate. They buy, and you know, and that helps the patient care. How are we doing for volunteers? We could always use more volunteers. Always. You know, if they only want to do two hours a week, uh, you know, we will work with whatever they want to. And they ch- they can come in and pick up an application at either location. Training's not very hard then? No, no. You're not a taskmaster? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I did. I gathered that you weren't. So. <laughs> yes, and anyone that, that, you know, needs to sit, there's a stool. There's stools there for them to check in such. And, you know, we accommodate that. I know. And I know a lot of people that come in as widows or widowers uh, because they have already seen what hospice has done in their homes and uh, are giving back. But uh, you don't have to wait for that. No, no, you do not. But a lot of our volunteers, that's the way they're giving back because of what hospice has done for them. Well, we appreciate the entire cause. So thanks. Come out to the sale. We don't want you to uh, be uh, the person who doesn't get a short sleeve shirt. Right. Like <laughs> I said, we have quite a bit to, to look through. All right. Holly, thank you, and we'll probably talk to you next month. How will that be? Yes, yes, thank you. Holly Flickinger, Hospice Browse and Buy, our guest this morning here on the 830 High Beam on the BT Morning Show.